What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hicker Scuba Marina. A lot of you guys have seen uh, my lift bag that I use in a lot of our videos and you've asked how do I actually have it attached to my uh, backplate wing system. And depending on what backplate system you have, whether you got a comfort pad system or not, it's really going to determine how you mount the system. I just want to show you real quick how I've got mine and then I'm going to actually mount another one on this side just to show you how it's done. Um, first of all, I'm just using the Mares XR plate here. This is the stainless steel plates, the three millimeter, five pound plate. I do have the comfort pad here and the comfort pad actually has these little D rings that's kind of pre-attached. Uh, I'll show you on this side here, just so you can see what they look like. They're just sewn in D rings here. But if you don't have a comfort pad system, you can always use the uh the holes in the plate itself to do the exact same thing that i that i'm doing here um one thing that a lot of people will do to store lift bags and smbs and stuff is they'll put it in behind the or in between the back plate here and the comfort pad that's always a great option um for me it's a little awkward trying to reach up in there and, and get whatever device or uh, tool out that i need so for me the the most obvious choice was of course mount it the way i've got it um, and I'm just I've just got a 50 pound lift back here mounted So let me show you real quick what you're gonna need then I'm gonna set the camera up and show you exactly how I mount it So of course you're gonna need your BC of choice preferably a back plate and wing for this um, type of system here You're gonna need your lift bag of choice or whatever tool uh, your SMB whatever it is that you want to mount I've just got the XS scuba 50 pound lift bag uh, you're going to want some type of bungee cord here. I've just got a short length of bungee, which I'm going to cut in half because you're going to need two lengths of this. Uh, of course, you need a pair of scissors, a lighter, and then a couple of cable ties or zip ties here. And I'll show you exactly here in just a minute how we assemble everything to, to get it to fit on here. So let me get the camera set up and then I'll show you. All right, so the first thing I want to do is just get me a length of bungee here. And I think I've got probably a total of 24 inches, something like that, maybe 20 inches. And I'm just going to double it over and cut it in half. Um, it doesn't really matter the length. What you're after, though, is you want to make sure that your bungee is long enough to actually go around whatever device you're trying to hold. As you can see here, that right there is going to be plenty. And, of course, I've got extra length as well just by simply doubling it over. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this here. If you're afraid you're going to cut it too short, just simply get you a longer length of bungee here and it makes it a lot easier for you. Uh, you can always trim it up as be. Now, to keep the sheath of the bungee here from fraying, all I'm going to do is just simply take a lighter. I'm going to melt it down just to get it towards a little bit on the warm side. And then kind of put it out right there. And that'll simply keep that sheath from fraying out too bad. You can always just press on it a little bit. Just as simple as that. Uh, this side here, you can do the same thing on. And all this is doing is just keeping that sheath from fraying. Just simple as something simple like that, you're, you're fine with. And of course, we're done with those. We just want to double check to make sure that bungee is going to be enough length to go around whatever device you're trying to hold. And as you can see, there's plenty right there. Now from here, since we've got our two lengths, we've got our two zip ties, I'm bringing the back plate and wing back over because I need access to these D rings right here. And this, of course, is where we're going to mount these two rings. Um, all you've got to do is simply just take one of the bungees. You're going to stick, stick it through the ring system like that. If you want to go through your back plate, you can. Say if you don't have the comfort pad, you can simply go through the back plate as well. It's the exact same principle, same thing. But I'm going to utilize these D-rings since they're already on here. Uh, I'm just going to pull them through like that. And I'm going to kind of double it over to where one's going one way. I don't want to put them on the end to end, and I don't necessarily want to put them like that. I want to put them to where they're double overed, just like that. Now, another option you can do is, of course, tie a knot in these. Um, if you tie your knots too far in, you're, you're going to lose length on the bungee. So as I pull it in like this to get my knot, I want to make sure I work that knot all the way down as far as I can to the end of that bungee. If you have to, you can take you a pair of pliers. Uh, let's see if i got a pair of pliers here. Take you a pair of pliers and then kind of pull on it just to make sure you get that knot all the way to the end of the bungee the best you can and keep it good and tight. Just like that. Just work it down just like that. You're going to do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of double over just a little standard knot here. Just 
Just roll that knot on down. Just like that. Now, if you're worried about that coming undone, another thing you can do is put you a little bit of glue and it should be fine. Of course, anytime you change something in your system, you just want to double check that you still got plenty of bungee left. As you can see, it goes clean around it. It's going to be nice and secure. And I'm going to double it over and I'll notice that there's a little gap here in between these two knots. And that gap is actually where I'm going to be attaching my zip tie itself to. So as I go through the hole just like that or through the little ring system, I'm going to create that little gap there in the middle. I'm going to take my zip tie. I'm going to simply attach it. Okay. Once I've got it secured, then I can pull the knots as close as I can together. Just like that. Get a little tug on the zip tie as well. Nice and tight. And then simply take my scissors. Cut it down, and that one's very easy attached, just like that. We can re simply repeat the process here with this one, and then once you're done, all you've got to do is just take the bungees, pull it up over whatever device you want, and it's nice and secured. Like I said, once you've got this one on, it's going to hold that lift bag or whatever you're trying to carry with you, a lift bag, SMB or whatnot, it's going to hold it nice and placed. And then, of course, very easy to reach. All you've got to do is just simply reach in behind you or to left or right, wherever it's mounted. Now, typically what I do is I just kind of reach up, I find that knot, and I'll pull down on the first bungee, and then I'll grab the device and pull out the device itself, whatever I'm trying to get. That stays on there. I don't lose. It's not an entanglement hazard in any way because it's actually between me and the BC itself or the bladder system. And then I can deploy the bag as needed. Now, the only downside to this, it's very difficult to restow away. So on my lift bags, I always carry an extra, uh, either a working double ender or even a extra bolt snap just like this. So there's several different things I can do with this. If I need to roll it up in this fashion to stow it away, one of the things I do is I'll simply take the bag. Instead of storing the strap inside it like I had it, I'll take the strap. Okay, so now I'm here in this position. I can take the strap. I can wrap it up. Once I get here, I've got an extra bungee. I can take that bungee, wrap it around. Okay, and then I've got, of course, an extra clip system that I can clip off to. So if I need to stow it real quick, maybe I don't need the lift or maybe it's not enough lift and I'm gonna have to come back and I can very easily roll the bag back up, restow the uh, lift bag just off a D-ring. It's not gonna open up. That bungee holds it nice and secure and I don't have to worry about trying to resecure it in that bungee system there. So this is a great way to actually stow your lift bag or your SMB uh, to where it is easy to deploy. And of course, we've got the other contingencies built in such as adding the extra bolt snap and stuff like that to the system. Very easy to do, doesn't get in the way of anything. Uh, you can do the same thing with your SMB. But like I said, it's easy to clip off. You don't have to worry about putting it back in there, but there's no entanglement hazard or anything like that. But guys, that's how easy it is to attach a lift bag system to your BCD system, whether it's a backplate and wing. All you've got to have is two attachment points, which I'm using the D-rings here. If you're using a backplate and wing that don't have these D-rings, you can either add them to your uh, holes here on your backplate, uh, or you can put some links on there, some chain links or whatnot. Um, and then, of course, you need your bungee couple zip ties and on whatever device you want to store and it's a great easy way to store a lift bag on your BCD. Alright guys so I got both bags um, actually attached to me. One you'll see here uh, the other one's over here to the left and from a pr front profile standpoint you'll see they're not hanging below me they're not creating an entanglement hazard. This bag here does stick out slightly more than what the other one does and there's a reason there. It's simply because it's brand new. I just got this bag just opened it up uh, this one's been used quite a bit so i was able to scrunch it down a little bit tighter uh, and it has been used over the last few years so it stows away a little bit cleaner than the other one but as you can see there's no entanglement hazard whatsoever it actually once the tank's on it actually stows a little bit 
uh, tighter than what you see here. But deploying the bags are very, very easy. And I'm going to do this twice for you. I'm going to actually do it without gloves, show you how easy it is to deploy. But I'm going to put a big, thick glove, say if you're doing this in cold water, I'm going to show you how easy it is to deploy even with thick gloves. But for me personally, all I do is just simply reach back. Let's just say that I'm reaching back to get my uh, SPGs or my computer or whatever you use and I can look at it and simply clip it off. I'm going to use the exact same motion. I'm just going to simply reach back as if I'm going to grab the SPG but I'm going to go slightly a little bit further and I'm going to find that bottom bungee system with my thumb just like that. And I'm going to simply pull down on it. That gets it completely out of the way. As you notice the bag doesn't go nowhere because the top bungee still keeps it secure. Now the benefit here is not only is it secure, I don't have to worry about removing that top bungee. All I do is just simply reach back, grab a hold of the bag as a whole, and simply pull it down just like that. And as you can see, it was very easy to deploy. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing with a thick glove on. This is just a five mil glove here from Marez. If I put the thick glove on, as you can see, you're not gonna have much dexterity, but it's kind of the same principle. Maybe I'm coming in to get my SMB and buoy or my reel system here. It's the exact same motion. I'm gonna come up until I can find that bottom bungee. Once I find the bottom bungee, I'm gonna go ahead and, and remove it completely clear. As you can see, it's here on my thumb. Just remove it. The bag stays secure with the top bungee. I don't even have to worry about that top bungee. I can come back here, grab the bag as a whole, simply pull it out and deploy it. So with thick gloves or no gloves, where there's dry gloves or whatnot, you can very easily deploy your lift bag system from the bungees, either left or right hand side. But guys, I just wanted to show you this. If you like this video, if you found it helpful, uh, if you, maybe if you got a different idea from me of how you attach, you know, like I said, a lot of people may put it up underneath their uh, back plate or in between their back plate and their comfort pad. Me, that's a little awkward trying to get in there, especially in a dry suit. This is very easy to deploy. Dry suit, wet suit, gloves, no gloves, even dry gloves, whatnot. It's very easy to deploy each of these. But if you found this helpful, if you liked it, simply smash the like button for me. Definitely share it for me. Guys, do me another uh, favor and leave a comment down below if there's any other type of system or attachment that you want to see on a back plate wing, simply because we don't have pockets to put stuff in. We've got D-rings, but that's pretty much it. As you can see here on this side, I don't have anything, but on this side is where I keep my spare flashlight. So if you got any comments or questions on how to stow something on your backplate and wing system, or even just a generic BCD, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer it the best I can. But guys, as always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business. Guys, we really appreciate you watching our videos. If you liked it, make sure to give us a big thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, simply hit that subscriber button for us and make sure you hit the little bell to turn on all notifications. If you want to see some other cool videos, make sure to click these links here. They could be scuba tips, they could be diving videos, search and recover videos, or gear reviews. Once again, guys, we really appreciate it.